Hello, my name is Bob Pinio. I'm an architect and a longtime SketchUp user. I just attended the 3D Base Camp in Boulder, and one of the most requested items was the ability to poche. I'm going to show you two methods today, uh, and they both involve the ability to paint uh, front and back surfaces. One, we're going to use uh, the paint bucket tool, and the other, we're going to use uh, styles. But first of all, uh, just a basic understanding for those who may not know that uh, every plane in SketchUp has two paintable surfaces, uh, basically a front and a back. So I just want to show you here, we'll turn on the materials palette and we'll pick uh, a color. So we'll go to colors and we'll p paint this, this surface black. And then if we tile underneath it, we see that that surface is also a paintable surface. So they're independent. So I can paint one black paint one red and um, and uh, so so that's going to be crucial for uh, both methods so I'm going to come over here and paint a oops and see this little foundation that we've got here first of all I'm going to use the section tool to cut a section through this uh, make-believe foundation so I'll come up and through here and uh, for those of you who don't know what a poche is uh, a poche is basically filling in this void in between these wall surfaces uh, with a solid color so that you can't see uh, some of the geometries that are uh, below like the footing for example on this on this surface so ideally we would fill that that area in with a with a solid color so the first method is going to be using the uh, paint bucket tool so I'm just going to turn off the graphic of the section so I just see that and um, as a way of helping us uh, with this tutorial, I'm going to turn on something called the Instructor, which is under Windows. And whatever tool you have up uh, currently selected, this Instructor comes up and it gives you some ideas how to use it. And it also shows you modifier keys, which are basically uh, a higher, you know, things that you can do with the with the tool itself. And one of them is this Control. So uh, Control. So if you use the bucket, to, the paint bucket tool, and then press Control, it paints all surfaces connected to face that you click with current context. So that's a lot to uh, maybe take in, but basically what it means is I'm going to click this nice black dark color. I'm going to triple click on my model, and then I'm going to use the paint bucket tool, and and hold down on the Control, and then I'm going to press on any interior surface. And that's going to paint all the other interior surfaces. So I have this nice dark poche, and I just did that with two clicks. So that's uh, that's method one, and that's poche. And uh, just so you know, you can modify that that color. So I'll paint the paint bucket tool, and actually go back to the instructor, and you'll see here that if you press the paint bucket tool and press Alt, it samples the material for painting. So I'm going to go over here, press the Alt button sample that and now I can edit the color of my poche so if I want red I can pick red or if I want yellow blue you know all those kind of things dark black works the west best because that's the the line weight of the um, of the lines uh, or that's the color of the lines so um, you know but if you still go into plan view you can still have a nice blue uh, poche without any problems Okay, so that's method number one. That's using the paint bucket tool. And now method number two is uh, very similar, but it's using a, uh, the style dialog box. So I'm going to revert this file. Let's get rid of this. And then I'm going to, again, cut a, cut a uh, section through this building, through this foundation. And now I'm going to go to styles. Let's turn off the graphic. And uh, basically I'm going to manipulate the, the, the style that we have right now. So what I'll, first thing I'll do is is uh, you know you're you're selecting this I'm going to select this particular style go to edit and the second dialog box there's uh, here for you know edge display but the second one is face um, face style I'm going to go to the back color click on that and I'm going to toggle all of these across here and make a black color. So now I have a black poche, and I can save this style out. So in other words, I can rename it and call it poche style, and then update it. 
and then I can also save it to uh, you know I can save this file for later on I've made a folder under my styles um, save folders so I've, I've saved it as poche and then I can slide this over and now I have a style that's always associated with poche so that's it I uh, hope this uh, helped and uh, this, this will help people to poche effectively thanks a lot